Welcome back to our Crypto Spiritual Weekly. My name is Yona Brindis. I'm uh, an energy coach and I will guide you through the crypto spiritual energies here for the next week, uh, February the 2nd till February the 8th of 2018. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for spending your time here with me. I've just had enough time to have another espresso, so I hope I'm not talking too fast. Um, coming out of the energy update for energetically sensitives and uh, empaths here just a few minutes ago. Uh, if you would like to contextualize some of these uh, crypto energies that I'm reflecting on in conjunction with overall collective energies uh, coming here uh, through for energetically sensitives empaths and people who are awakening then please watch this energy update both videos will be available as edited versions with uh, descriptions and further references in the description part and also feel free to comment um, and to share ask me any question here during this uh, live uh, crypto spiritual uh, we have a, a crypto spiritual facebook group that you are all invited to uh, where you can uh, read my, my crypto spiritual dailies uh, reflecting on current uh, energies affecting uh, the uh, cryptocurrency markets. Now, this may be a little far-fetched for some of you, but those of you who are in tune with uh, some of those um, uh, non-linear concepts understand that there always is a connection between the collective and specific uh, areas of manifestation. Our financials, um, our physical 3D is a major part of uh, this uh, uh, spiritual journey that we are all in and vice versa. The spiritual aspect cannot be separated from the financial aspect, from our abundance, from these different factors that influence the way we see ourselves, the world, and other people, of course. And because we're dealing with a highly emotional market, a market that was founded out of the grassroots of liberation, of um, bringing the, the power back to people, we are dealing with a highly, highly um, sensitive uh, energy here that is reflected in these uh, uh, collective energies that people like uh, you and I pick up on. And I want to encourage you, if you are coming from the financial sector of life, you know, and never really um, cared much for the woo-woo of things, uh, to connect with your precognitive abilities. There is actually scientific studies that show that people who can do this do 26% better than uh, people who are just basing their uh, trading calls or their um, their moves uh, based on charts. Now, I have a history in charting myself. I can read charts and uh, I try to, uh, like in all areas of my life, to bring all these different channels of perception together. So while this may feel uh, just a little bit out there, you know, hear me out here. Um, I'm going to reflect on some of the crypto energies of this week, uh, then go into the overall situation and then give you some energy tips. Um, I won't give any trading calls um, or uh, tips uh, for you. I'm not a financial advisor. I may um, mention a few things that I've done as a cryptocurrency investor and observer. However, um, you have to follow your inner guidance, connect with your heart mind and uh, make your own decisions. This is really the overall uh, uh, task here for us collectively anyway, uh, moving into this new era of financial uh, reorganization, um, a restructuring of uh, of the power grid and also liberating ourselves from this uh, collective restriction 
uh, that has imprisoned us in the past. In the past, it was barely possible for us uh, to take our own financial future in, you know, to take our own uh, future in our own hands. Uh, now this has changed. But with this also comes a lot of responsibility and um, the need to mature some of our own uh, personal beliefs. And uh, this requires us to go into the higher perception that resides within us. And um, my uh, objective here is to bring this a little closer to you, how you can merge these two. Anyway, on the left here, you see uh, something that is experimental. That's my crypto spiritual barometer for the week. As you can see, it hasn't really moved much from last week. It's still in the orangey red area. Uh, that's because uh, we are dealing with pre pretty hefty energies, but you may have expected this to be all the way in the red. It's not because even though we are currently, as of right now, experiencing something that many call, oh, the crypto bubble is finally bursting and the crash is imminent and so forth. Um, I don't see it this way. I don't feel it this way. What I'm seeing is a correction that has already been uh, announcing itself for weeks now um, that is starting to bottom out. Yes, we're still in the middle of tons of FUDs and DFUDs, you know, and the, the, the culmination of all of that is biting now. So yes, today is one of those uh, um, feared red days in the cryptocurrency market. Uh, Bitcoin has fallen under $10,000 and is currently testing um, its uh, new support line at uh, the 8,300 8, mark, possibly moving all the way down to 708, uh, 7,800. That's something we're going to have to feel out. I do get um, messages, uh, emails from people all over the world who are able to tune into both, you know, their empathetic and precognitive abilities along with uh, their understanding of the cryptocurrency market. And uh, if you are one of those, I would like to encourage you to email me. I have a, a private a group, a private um, Skype group where we exchange um, our uh, precognitions and we work on this together. Um, also, feel invited to come to the Crypto Spiritual Facebook group. Uh, this would also be a place for you to exchange that. But we are currently looking at a new foundation, a new foundation for a healthier and organic growth of the cryptocurrency market. So why am I just seeing this here in the orange and not all the way in the red? Because I don't think this is anything we need to be afraid of. A new foundation, and this is the same in our personal life, allows us to grow with strength, to grow with a good rooting. Without that rooting, all right, we cannot really move into these these places where you know we can flexibly and uh, 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 respond to all the different streams, to all the different currents that are happening out there. So if you picture yourself or the the, the cryptocurrency like a like a tree, you know, in order to go through the, the all these winds of change that are coming now, big time. We need to have really strong roots. We need to have a really good foundation so that all this can come to fruition. And this is really the process that we're in. You know, we're still in the birthing process. We're not even in the early adapter stage. This is the correction of the innovation cycle and uh, only to move into a massive new influx of market cap into the cryptocurrency. So while we've uh, had to endure all these FUDs, you know, fear, uncertainty and doubt news that uh, are propagated right now from the bigger organizations, smart money and so forth, who are resisting uh, this because uh, the, it, it makes them lose their power structure. 
there are just as many positive messages out there. There are just as many positive news out, news out there. So if you are still dwelling on what caused this crash, there's a multitude of, of, of reasons or causations for it. But honestly, no one has that um, crystal ball to take uh, to, to uh, tell you exactly why. It's a combination of things. And, it, and, and the causation is in the collective energies and not so much in those individual news such as uh, what came out of China and India and Korea uh, this past week, you know, the the Tether and um, uh, Bitfinex uh, scandal uh, that is currently boiling up, Facebook announcing that they're going to ban all cryptocurrency um, advertisements. Those are all things that when they come together, they really play into this collective fear that is uh, already in the air. So fear, uncertainty, and doubt is not something that was caused by these uh, uh, news messages. It was, you know, it triggered people into their irrationality. And the irrationality then is uh, basically uh, to sell uh, your cryptos at a, at, at when they go low. All right, this is irrational. It is understandable because this is what we do when our um, ego's fear gets triggered, that we try to hold on to maintain the status quo. But here in the crypto market, um, I want to remind you guys that, you know, the, the $9,000 mark was celebrated only three months ago. Only three months ago, we partied, you know, when... Bitcoin went past, you know, the uh, the six thousand dollar and then the ten thousand dollar mark, and now we feel poor. Now we feel like losers. Now all the naysayers are having a field day and making us feel ashamed and making us feel like we have to, you know, shut up. And no, this is the time where you have to go out and really stand up for your truth. This is much bigger than just about making money. Yes, uh, it's also uh, the time now where all these people, you know, that have been uh, advertising the greed and the, the, the new crypto billionaire lifestyle with their uh, Lambos and their big cigars and all that. Yes, this is all not based on truth. No, it isn't. This is not what the cryptocurrency or the blockchain technology is about. I'm only talking about Bitcoin because, as you all know, it's the pulling horse for the market. So if the Bitcoin price goes down, if the Bitcoin futures go down, and they're all pointing down right now, you know, then everybody loses faith in all the other currencies as well. There's a, always a few days of sideways movements uh, where the existing market cap uh, sort of swaps between altcoins and Bitcoin. But uh, the, the overall indicator for fear and uncertainty in the market is really the, the, the total volume of the market capitalization. So that has gone down uh, by um, almost $300 billion within the last two months. And that tells you the story. So how can we proactively get through this without getting pulled into these um, these these little triggers, you know, uh, uh, that come in through the news. So first of all, I would um, suggest to you that you uh, connect yourself with with news sites or news streams or um, uh, Twitter accounts that uh, deliver a bit more of a of a, uh, a balanced view. Okay, there's so many cool news out there, how uh, some of the big payment systems are uh, about to adapt uh, uh, cryptocurrencies. Just today, uh, Square, you know, the PayPal uh, payment processor for, for handhelds has announced that they're going to introduce an in-app cryptocurrency integration. This is huge, guys. There's new marketplaces. There's new technologies, new companies. Oh, my God. We talked about ICOs last week just to, you know, give you a little heads up on, on what you can research right now so that in two weeks you are ready to invest in some of those. I've invested in ICOs last week and quite frankly, my portfolio hasn't suffered from any of these ups and downs at all. 
because I am looking into the future and I'm learning from the past. What does the past teach us here? The past teaches us that this is about not buying into fear. Most people, when they go into fear, they become irrational. They sell, you know, their stocks when they're low. And then as things go back up again, and I didn't mean stocks, of course, I meant their cryptos, um, but the same happens in the stock market as well. It just happens a lot quicker here with the cryptocurrencies because we have a lot more unprofessional uh, investors such as myself uh, and yourself uh, in the market. And uh, uh, they they buy in again when everything is rising. So uh, what this does to our energy is that we feel like outcasts when the crypto or the Bitcoin price goes low and we feel like winners, you know, and uh, we feel like uh, the big predictors here uh, it makes us feel special um, uh, when uh, the Bitcoin price goes up. Guys, you got to decouple from that. All right, it's not about that. It's not about proving you're right. You can't kill blockchain. You can't kill cryptocurrencies. This is the future. And if you don't have the nerve, then you need to calm yourself down in those times and not watch crypto news for a while. You know, two weeks, um, I've recommended uh, this week, you know, come back in two weeks. All right. But pay attention to all these cool new companies that are coming forward right now because there are so many market segments that are not even yet discovered uh, or, uh, you know, presented by certain tokens, yes, that are huge, you know. I mean, just to think of uh, all the the uh, uh, frustration that people have with social media. Personally, I'm going through this right now. I got banned by Facebook twice again within the last 48 hours uh, to get unbanned again just because, um, uh, you know, I mentioned cryptocurrencies or because I talked about masculine and feminine energies. It doesn't really matter. This whole uh, uh, content management and... Um, and social media presence is a huge market and there are some very cool new companies coming forward with offering platforms that allow a more self-governed and uh, still very integrous platform for doing this. Then um, the, the content management is, uh, you know, presenting videos, presenting um, the music, all this has to become more integrous. It, it killed parts of the video and of the music industry and all this has to come back. It will come back, guys. So learn from the past. We are uh, in the correctional phase as a collective at large. And so, uh, yes, there will be things dying right now. There will be things be weeded out and thank God. Thank God that, you know, uh, things such as uh, BitConnect and um, some of the other scams and also Tether is now uh, being uh, taken under the, the, the microscope because those things have no place in, crypt in the cryptocurrency world. Yes. Thank you, Janelle, for commenting on this. This is a lovely time for those who didn't have... Uh, the ability because we weren't energetically ready, you know, to to work with truth and uh, even to to spend time with our uh, uh, taking the power back, taking the power for our financials back. This is the time now, and I see a lot of you guys as uh, empaths, you know, really uh, seeing this opportunity right now and excelling. 2018 is the year for you guys who have crawled on the, the bottom of uh, uh, existence and fringe dwelling because you've tried to be of service. Now you can come out of the woodwork. You can you can be of service by reinforcing um, people's link into the future. So please see all this here now, what is happening as building a strong foundation for the future. And by the end of this year, we're going to laugh about all this. This will happen a few more times this year. So don't be afraid. I'm personally expecting this, uh, you know, uh, in the next coming days to be 
Well, yeah, until the 15th, we can really be sure. But the, the February the 9th is coming in for me when we can breeze through. So uh, prepare yourself right now. And uh, instead of going into your fear, maybe connect with uh, some of these these currencies that you know are going to uh, be successful, such as Ethereum, such as Litecoin, you know, and even Bitcoin. You know, how low can they go? It doesn't matter uh, that you buy them at the lowest dip. This is a really great opportunity for those of you guys with nerves. Decouple yourself from that energy. Yes, and thank you guys for for uh, being here and uh, for sharing. Um, I hope that you uh, have the nerve, okay? Don't uh, lose your faith here. Learn from the past and look into the future. Connect with your precognitive abilities and work it. Yes, see you next week here, um, like every Thursday uh, for the new crypto spiritual weekly and if you want to stay tuned join the facebook group for uh, crypto dailies and if you want to be a little more in tune with collective energies that i am also reporting uh, about then uh, look at the transcode side and uh, read the uh, weekly energy updates thank you everybody hope to see you next week bye bye <music>